Sliding them old indicators up, it's up here ought to wake up for us here. We got to the uh, river, I think about 7.30 this morning and, and the fog was on the river like it is every morning. Uh, it was cool, it was, it was a beautiful setting, just the way the fog flows with the current up and down the river. It's just a wonderful setting to, to start the day off. Come on, baby. Just up just a little there. There he comes. He's a lively rascal. <laughs> there we go. All right. That was nice. Yeah. Nice little rainbow Absolutely. there. Absolutely. So this morning when we got started, I had the guys first, and we kind of went for a long line and technique. And what we do is we go down to a egg pattern or a San Juan worm, anything. We're using this as an attractor pattern. This is just to get the fish to move over. And then we are dropping these small midges below them. The average two pound trout eats up to 500 midges a day. So they really got to eat these guys to get full for a day. And we're keying in on that. Let's see. There's a little nicer rainbow there, boys. Early on, we were all socked in in fog and uh, just out, out really just kind of kind of feeling our way through there, couldn't really see anything, so we really had to trust our guys. Luckily, they were putting us on fish early on. You don't have to be a fisherman to come and have a big time doing this. Uh, we can take care of all the fishing part and all the work part. All you got to do is reel them in and grin, and we can, we'll take care of the rest listening to, to both Donald and Chad and, and really seeing, uh, uh, they would explain how, how those fish will be hanging right off of those, those beds in through there and really, and really trying to fine tune your cast into those areas. Uh, you could tell when you were right and you could sure tell when you were wrong. Just so you know, David, I was watching you in this one. Well. Well, I appreciate you, you doing that for me because I've missed five watching you over there catch them. <laughs> you know, it's nice to have enough fish that that doesn't upset you. <laughs> you know, when you know there's going to be another one there in a minute. When you know you get another shot. They were in pretty good hands, you know, and I think we proved today that uh, we can catch fish with anybody. Them fellas can do it. We, we, we got it made. You know, we started the day out and did some fly fishing and had some great luck on that. But with the water running the way it was, Donald thought it would be good to incorporate some drift fishing. You're going to feel it bumping along the bottom? Uh-huh. You're going to feel like that right there. It'll just be bumping along. When it's a fish, he's going to pull it down, shake it to it, and I'm going to holler jerk. Okay. I'm going to be talking to you, not about you. <laughs> so get her done. So this has a lot of, this helps you with a lot of life skills, right? Yeah, yeah. More than, <laughs> more than just the fishing. More than just oh. the fishing. Did you get him? Oh. Bite your tongue. Do whatever you have to. Exactly. Don't jerk. Well, I know, but that trick is trying to take the rod out of my way. <laughs> that was just self-defense. Really like was that they just really self-defense? Like Got him. Believe it, dude. There he is. All right. All right. Born and raised in Cotter, Arkansas, about two blocks away from the river. And my mom worked in the restaurant and worked evenings, and my dad worked during the day. So when he'd come home from work, then I was his responsibility for the rest of the day. And he'd go fishing and just leave me laying in the bottom of the boat before I was able to do anything. So I've been fishing all of my life, literally. Not a bad one for a first fish. No, not a bad one at all for a first fish. As soon as you get a good one with that. Oh, we'll get, I'll get another. We got them, you know, from three years old all the way up to 83 years old and anything in between and all different skill levels. There he is. Yeah, you know, I try to have a good time every day. I see it. Tell you what, there ain't nothing like a drag making man happy hearing that clicking off. Depending on uh, who you got in the boat, you, got, you get some people that's just really serious and will go out and try, you know, just bang your head off the wall trying to be serious about it. But most of the time, we're out there to have fun. And fishing's just part of the fun through the big old guide and push it up in that camera. It's a small part of a All big right. day, and uh, we, we're pretty good at it. Yeah, it feels like a better fish. 
It's a nice rainbow right there. Mm -hmm. Nice rainbow. The biggest surprise today was that David caught a bigger fish than I did. He'll come out from under there and I'll get him to the top and I'll slide in under. All right. Get there, fellas. I think that was probably him being from the Carolinas and Georgia and then coming into my home state and catching a bigger fish than I did really surprised me. It's the best of my day. You might have slipped something in there nicer, but that's the best of my day right there. That big fish was nice. We were fishing a little further out in the river uh, than, I was, than uh, we, had, we had done before, and I was kind of letting it tail off there behind the boat, and all of a sudden, boom, that thing hit, and I, I knew it was a little bit better fish. Now, I'd, I'd lost good fish and little fish all day long, so I was trying to keep that right amount of tension on that rod. Uh, I wanted to get that one in, and it, it, it was worth getting in. It was a nice fish. I enjoyed that. We also have during the summer where we do really well on terrestrials, which are hoppers and ants and this type thing. And so we would use hoppers and, and beetles and we can get these brown trout to come up and eat our beetles for us and our, and our hoppers for us. So there's really a style of fishing for every fly fisherman. We started the Washita Rod and Gun Club at Hot Springs Village because we have so many people moving there from all over the country. All the time I'm meeting people that, you know, want to know about fishing in the state of Arkansas. This enables them to be put in touch with guides from bass fishing to trout fishing like what we did today and just have a marvelous time enjoying this wonderful state. Absolutely gorgeous rolling land, old pastures, and it's just absolutely beautiful country. And then you come up on the river, there's a lot of water rolling down that river. We've got uh, uh, seniors that live in, in Hot Springs Village. We've got younger people that, that live there and visit there. The nice thing about a trip like this is, is we can tailor it to all different ages. Really proud to be a charter member of the Washita Rod and Gun Club to, to help these people that are my friends that I play golf with every day get out and enjoy the Wonder State. The only thing the Rod and Gun Club can look forward to is a good time every time. We're gonna show you an outstanding trip on every trip that you take.